Today on Adulting Without Supervision, we're going to unbox and review the 9 kilowatt ethereal electric tankless water heater. Well, we found the crack. Oh, these are my gutters. Hey, everybody. It looks pretty simple. Day two or three. Continue making sure that's got a good seal to it. So you're interested in looking into a electric tankless water heater? Well here is some information you will want to look through in order to decide which one is best for you. We both had to admit, it looks nice and would really look good on a wall, which is kind of surprising for a water heater. Here's a better look at the wire color code sticker that is on the wire. Alrighty, so the manufacturer does not want you to open this thing up. It has a sticker right in the corner, do not open it up. And if any of you are like me, you want to know what's in there just purely out of curiosity. So we're going to go ahead and open it up for you so you can get an idea of what's in there. That way you're not so curious and tempted to open it up.
So I went ahead and installed the mounting hooks and we ended up not using the screws that came with it just because we had some that were a little bit stronger. And here we have Josh with the 40 amp breaker that will need to be installed. And because we are not professionals, we do have a fire extinguisher ready to go as soon as we flip the breaker. In an effort to be as transparent as possible, we went ahead and turned the cold water on at the basement sink and we let it run for a little bit to make sure that it wasn't just showing the ambient temperature from the basement. Now so far we have not turned the system on and the reason for that is we must run the water through the system to make sure we get every single ounce of air that we can out. Any air that is left behind will cause the coils to burn out prematurely. You also want to make sure you have have a proper water filter for your plumbing to keep things like scale from building up in the system. Now that we're sure that we've purged the air from the system, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and set our temperature. So as you can see on the display, we're getting a code that is an EF. In the manual, this just stands for the water sensor is stuck. But as soon as we turn the water on, it seems to be working just fine. So we're just assuming when there is no water flow, that this code comes up saying that there isn't any water flow, basically. These are some errors that came up while we were testing the unit. And here we're going to see just how hot this water gets. As you guys can see, our temperature got up to 127, and that was because we kept changing the flow rate by simply slowly closing the valve. And remember, the further south you are, the better this works for you, since it's a small unit. So for us in the Midwest, this would work best for a bathroom sink that has the aerated hose that's rated for water efficiency. Well, that's it for this video. We want to thank Ethereal for sending us their electric tankless water heater for our review. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you all later.